there's nothing more embarrassing than having notifications show up while you're sharing your screen or accidentally recording secret documents just because you have them open in the background. When you finish watching this video, you will have learned the correct way to share your content in a Microsoft Teams meeting out of the available options. Okay, so the available options that you have is to share your screen, your window, or an actual PowerPoint file. So the first option that you have is to share your screen. And while doing that, you can see that at once you uh, go to the document that you have had open the most recently. So this was a document that I had open, which is really good to know that if you have another file that you're working on, it might just jump to that file when you're starting with the, when you start to share the screen, which obviously is not super nice. And when you're sharing your screen, um, the people can see everything that you do on your screen, including your cursor. And they can also see the, the tabs line down here. And, and they can also see all of the notifications, all of the things that show up on your screen. So for example, when I um, alt tab, the person can see that on the screen as well. So if you, for example, just want to alt tab and then go into writing a bit of notes, that will also show up in the meeting, as you can see from the participants view. So they can see everything that you write there. They can also see this little box down here in the desktop view. So yeah, they, they can see everything that you do on your screen, basically. And a good thing to know here as well is that if you have several screen, it will just show the one screen that you're sharing. So what is this good for? The times where you should share your desktop is if you're switching between a lot of documents. So if you first of all want to share this PowerPoint, you go through it, click a bit, then you make some edits, change the text a bit, whee! And then you want to switch to another document that they, you want people to see. So for example, if you have a PowerPoint that you're working in and then you want to show people something in Excel or want to make a list that everyone wants to see, this is the option. And another thing that I've realized recently is that if you're sharing your Outlook and if you're sharing an email that you're writing, the new email will show up as a pop-up. So if you share it as something else than the desktop, it won't show up. So desktop is the preferred way when you have multiple things that you need to shift through. The next option that you can do is to share your window. So in this case, I'm sharing the PowerPoint window. And you can see here by this red border what I'm sharing. So in this case, I'm only showing the PowerPoint presentation. And if I have this box down here, it won't show, neither will any notifications or whatever. And if I put this up in full screen, the participant will also see that full screen view. And when I go out of it, it will also not show. So this is great if you want to show one window, for example, a PowerPoint document, and you really want people to follow along. A small life hack that you can do while doing this is to enter into the PowerPoint, pull it up in full screen mode so that you see it like this. And what you do then is that you go into your Teams meeting and you share the window with the full screen view. See? So now the participant sees the full screen view when I click through it. And look what happens here. I can tap to this other window. I can go through the PowerPoint document. I can make changes. We, we're in the future. Yeah, we are. And as you can see from the participants window, they still see the full screen view. So this is a life hack where you want to share just a presentation but you also want to be able to go through it and make changes and maybe look a bit ahead of what's coming. And then when you want to continue moving around in it, you just tap back to this window and it will um, go back. And then you can also see the edits right here if you have that option uh, on. So the option of keep slides updated. Okay, so one of the best ways to share a PowerPoint presentation in Teams, I think, is the PowerPoint Live way of doing it. So you go down here to PowerPoint Live and find your presentation. And when you open this presentation, it will come up in the Teams window. You won't be in PowerPoint to click this through. So what you can see here is that you can see the slide, the presenter can see the same slides, and you can also see the participants. 
You can see your speaker notes. You can increase the font size and decrease it. You see the audience and you see all the other slides in the presentation. What you also can do is that you can go into the grid view and see all of the upcoming slides. So if you had more slides, these would show up here as well. And you can quickly jump through them and change the slides. Something else that you can do here is that you can use the laser pointer to show exactly what you're talking about. And this will also show up for the participants. You can also use a pen to write or draw arrows. You can use a highlighter to highlight what is being said, what is important in the presentation. And you can also erase all of it. So it's a really good way of having an interactive presentation. And something else that you can do is that you can also translate the slides. And as you can see here now, uh, I'm not good enough at French to understand what they said. This was just a uh, mock-up text, so it doesn't translate. That way you can also translate the text if that is easier for you. But let's not do that for now. So this is a really, really handy view. It makes it so much easier for you as the presenter to show the slides, have the full slide order and have everything in, under control while doing it, while also seeing the reactions of your audience. From an audience view, you can see everything that happens, but since I only have one version of the corporate teams and in, on this computer, I'm using my personal teams, it doesn't show up because the personal teams version has a lot more restrictions than the corporate one. Um, but either way, one of the upsides or downsides, depends on how you see it, is that as a participant, you can click through the slides. So you can have a look at other slides. If you miss something or if you want to look ahead of what is coming, you can do that and then just go back to the presenter where the presenter is. And another thing that you can do is you can click on any links that appear in the slide. So it's a really interactive way of doing it. However, I can see that having the participant being able to click through the presentation themselves could be a real downside of using this view, but it's a super easy fix that Microsoft has provided us with. So if you just click on the private view, it will stop people from being able to click through everything. So that makes it super simple. Now they are forced to be on the same slide as you do. Being in the PowerPoint live view, I would say is the best option for most presentations because not only does it have all of these functions, it also has its advantages in that all of the animations and the transitions go a lot smoother in this version. It doesn't lag as much as in the others. And it also takes up a lot less bandwidth. So if uh, your internet is bad, your connection is bad, this is the best way of showing the slides. Just remember to turn on the private view and then it will definitely be the best version of sharing slides in most cases. The next step to leveling up your presentations in Microsoft Teams is learning how to request and give away control of a presentation. I will post about this in short and when it's up, you will be able to access it here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see it as soon as I posted it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.